Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you a brand new standard legal deck tech. We are going is it this time with is it unblockable, all about huge amount of card draw and being able to swing in with unblockable sea creatures for the win. Uh, lots of fun and also a fair few cards that really don't see a huge amount of play. So we will get straight into it starting off with our creatures. We have two copies of Serpent of Yawning Depths for six mana. Four blue blue we have got a 6-6 six, six enchantment creature, a serpent with Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents you control can't be blocked except by Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents. So the important thing to note here is most of the creatures we are going to be playing are going to be the creature type that this serpent cares about and that in theory unless we have a mirror match will enable those creatures to be unblockable. Up next we have got two copies of Charix the Raging Isle. We have got for four mana, two blue blue, a 017 Leviathan Crab. This is an amazing card. Spells your opponent's cast that target Charix the Raging Isle cost two more to cast. So uh, if they are going to remove it, it is going to cost them a little bit more and there is a possibility that they won't have the mana to do so. But the amazing thing about this card is for three mana and you don't have to tap it and you can do it multiple times, Charix gets plus X, minus X until the end of turn where X is the number of islands you control. And obviously its creature type is vitally important because if we happen to have our serpent out, this is unblockable. Amazing card, two copies of. Up next we have a playset of Nadir Kraken for three mana. One blue blue, we have a two three Kraken with whenever you draw a card, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on Nadir Kraken and create a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creature token. So we are going to be drawing multiple cards, hopefully each turn. If we have the mana available, we will be able to put additional counters on the Kraken, making them bigger and hopefully unblockable later on. And also going wide and having blockers in general with the production of 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creatures. Next we have a playset of Wavebreak Hippocamp for 3 mana, 2 and a blue. We have a 2-2 Horsefish with whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Up next we have 2 copies of Sea Dasher Octopus for 3 mana, 1 blue blue. We have a 2-2 Octopus, it has flash and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So we can flash this in onto maybe a 1-1 one, one tentacle creature uh, that was going through and wasn't going to be blocked and it will enable us to draw a card and because it's got flash if we've got the horsefish out that's going to trigger an additional card draw as well. Most of this deck is going to be about producing as many draw instances as humanly possible. We're looking basically to be doing two every single turn if we can and that creates a massive amount of value everything becomes bigger, everything becomes wider and is vitally vitally important for the next card because we are going to be playing four copies of Iron Crag Pyromancer for three mana, two and a red, we have a 0-4 so a very good blocker, a 0-4 Human Wizard with whenever you draw your second card each turn Iron Crag Pyromancer deals three damage to any target Obviously this is not just on our turn, it's on our opponent's turn as well. So therefore, if we happen to be playing an instant, we have a horsefish out, we've drawn two cards, Iron Crag Pyromancer is then going to deal three damage, possibly destroying one of their creatures or going directly to the face. And our final creature, we have two copies of Torbran Thane of Red Fell. Uh, for four mana, one red, red, red. We have a two, four dwarf noble. And if a red source you control would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent and opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus two instead. So if this is alongside our pyromancer and we are able to draw two cards on anyone's turn, it will enable us to do five damage. And that's just with one pyromancer. Pyromancer is not legendary. If we've got more than one out, it is ridiculous. So, two copies of Torbran, Thane of Red Fell. Up next, we have our non creature spells. Starting off with our planeswalkers, we have one copy of Jace Mirror Mage for three mana, one blue blue. We have Jace, 
loyalty of four and the plus one is scry two. So we can start digging through our deck to maybe find our serpent to make everything unblockable. Also, the second ability for zero, we can draw a card, reveal it, and then remove a number of loyalty counters equal to that card's converted mana cost from Jace Mirror Mage. So this is going to enable us to draw additional cards as well. Plus, if we happen to have five mana, we can kick it, making a second Jace. Although starting off with loyalty of one, it is another Jace, and it will enable us to dig deeper to find exactly what we need. We're also going to be playing two copies of the Royal Scions. For three mana, one blue and a red, we have got Legendary Planeswalker Will and Rowan, five loyalty, the plus one ability, draw a card and discard a card, very important in this deck. Also, the second plus one ability is target creature, gets plus two, plus oh, and gains first strike and trample until end of turn, which is absolutely fantastic if we put this on our Leviathan Crab, and also the minus eight, draw four cards, and when you do, the Royal Scion deals damage to any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. You could possibly have five or six cards in your hand already before this even goes off, and then just go straight to the face. So, excellent card indeed, two copies of. Up next, we have two copies of Improbable Alliance. For two mana, a blue and a red, we have an enchantment with whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. And for six mana, four blue and a red, we have draw a card and then discard a card. We also have two copies of Ominous Seas. For two mana, one and a blue. We have an enchantment with whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on Ominous Seas. Remove eight foreshadow counters from Ominous Seas and create an 8-8 eight, eight blue Kraken creature token. So again, it's a Kraken, therefore if we happen to have our Serpent of Yawning Depths out, it's going to be unblockable. And the good thing is, if we can get 9 counters on this and take away 8, we still have the Ominous Seas out. It is not going to be put into our graveyard and we can continue to make more Krakens. Excellent card indeed, two copies of. As card draw is hugely important in this deck for creating, going wide, burning our opponent and making everything bigger, we have two copies of Reconnaissance Mission. For four mana, two blue blue, we have an enchantment with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. In addition to that, it has cycling for two, discard this card and draw a card. Up next we have a playset of Opt, for one blue mana, we have an instant with scry one and draw a card. And we're also going to be playing two copies of deliberate. For one and a blue, we have an instant with scry two and draw a card. And we also have two copies of glacial grasp. For three mana, two and a blue, we have an instant with tap target creature. Its controller mills two cards, and that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And the added bonus of drawing a card also. And our final card of the non-creature spells, we have a playset of negate, counter target non-creature spell. And finally, we get to our land base. We have 23 lands in total, starting off with two copies of River Glide Pathway which has the opportunity of turning into Lava Glide Pathway. We also have one copy of Fabled Passage. And we also have one copy of Glass Pool Shore. Entering the battlefield tapped. But if needed, we can play the reverse side. Glass Pool Mythic giving us an additional creature and that creature being a shapeshifter rogue for two and a blue you may have glass pool mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types so this could be another pyromancer it could be another leviathan crab and we could then have another 017 um, amazing amazing card indeed and the fact that if not needed you can use it for a land that you're really desperate for 
wonderful, wonderful card. In addition to that, we have our basic lands. We have six mountains and also 13 islands. So there we have it. That is the entire standard legal deck tech for Is It Unblockable? I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please let us know if there is something in this deck tech that you would change and why. I'd love to hear your views. If you have enjoyed the video and you would like to like, share, subscribe, do the usual things, it will help the channel out hugely. And other than that, I'd just like to say thank you so, so much for watching and we will see you again soon here on Cardboard Badger.